This video focuses on solving this inequality. So let's start by separating out that parentheses into two because it's all squared. Then we'll foil the two parentheses. So we have first, outside, inside, last. Combine like terms, negative 3x minus 3x is negative 6x. Now we need to move that positive 1 to the left side. We want to set the entire inequality equal to 0 so we can make it factorable. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. Nine minus one is eight. Now we think about the methods of factoring this quadratic equation. The leading coefficient is one, so we're going to use a chart method. We've been starting to do these in our head. What are the factors of eight that add to negative six? Well, that is negative four and negative two. Then we set our factors equal to zero and solve for x. So x minus 4 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. Add 4 to both sides, add 2 to both sides. These two are called our critical points at 4 and 2. Now we're going to go ahead and graph these on a number line. So we have a critical point at 2, we have a critical point at 4. Now we create our three intervals. Our first interval, we go the farthest left from negative infinity to two. Our next interval is between the critical points, two and four. And then our last interval is from four to the farthest right, which is positive infinity. And we check the either the original inequality, which would be here in the black, or I recommend checking the factoring one, which is right here in the blue. So we're going to test in this interval, or this inequality, x minus 4, x minus 2, is it greater than or equal to 0? Again, you could use the original one if you wanted. So now I'm going to start with my first interval in the purple, negative infinity to positive 2. Pick a number in that interval. So I'm going to just pick 0. So I'm going to let x equal 0, and I'm going to substitute it into the blue inequality. So I have 0 minus 4, 0 minus 2, greater than or equal to 0. Negative 4 times negative 2, greater than or equal to 0. Multiply the two numbers on the left, and read the inequality. Is 8 greater than or equal to 0? Yes, this is true. So this will be, this purple will be a solution to the inequality. Now let's go on to the next interval in the green. The next interval is from 2 to 4 in between those critical points. And I'm going to just choose the number 3. So I'm going to let x equal 3. I substitute it back into the blue test interval. 3 minus 4, 3 minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Simplify those parentheses, multiply the two numbers on the left, and read it. Is negative 1 greater than or equal to 0? No, that's false. So this will not be a solution in the green. Our last interval is from 4 to infinity. So I'm just going to try 5. So our interval is from 5 to positive infinity, and we said we would try, sorry, 5, 4 to positive infinity, and we're going to try 5. So we plug it into the blue one again, 5 minus 4, 5 minus 2, greater than or equal to 0. 5 minus 4 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3. Multiply the two numbers on the left, 
Is 3 greater than or equal to 0? Yes, this is true. So this will be a solution. So our final answer then is the solution is two intervals. We scroll up. The first interval we found it was in the purple, negative infinity to negative 2. The second interval we found was from 4 to infinity. Now we need to graph that solution on a number line. So our first solution is negative infinity to 2. And then our other solution is from 4 to infinity. We have to state the solution and then graph it. 